Space X's Starship and Super Heavy Rocket represent a fully reusable transportation system designed to service all Earth orbit needs as well as the Moon and Mars. This two-stage vehicle composed of the Super Heavy Rocket Booster and Starship will eventually replace Falcon 9, Falcon Heavy and Dragon. An important question to answer is, how do they pay for system? The answer lies in creating a single system that can support a variety of missions. SpaceX can then redirect resources from Falcon 9, Falcon Heavy and Dragon to this system. SpaceX's Starship and Super Heavy Rocket are designed to deliver satellites to Earth orbit and beyond, at a lower marginal cost per launch than our current Falcon vehicles. With a 9-meter diameter forward payload compartment, larger than any other current or planned fairing, Starship creates possibilities for new missions, including space telescopes, even larger than the James Webb. Starship can deliver both cargo and people to and from the International Space Station. Starship's pressurized forward payload volume is greater than 1,000 M3, enhancing utilization capacity for in-space activities. The aft cargo containers can also host a variety of payloads. Building moon bases in Mars cities will require affordable delivery of significant quantities of cargo and people. The fully reusable Starship system uses in-space propellant transfer to enable the delivery of over 100 tons of useful mass to the surface of the Moon or Mars. This system is designed to ultimately carry as many as 100 people on long-duration, interplanetary flights. The goal is to send first cargo mission to Mars in 2022. The objectives for the first mission will be to confirm water resources, identify hazards, and put in place initial power, mining and life support infrastructure. A second mission, with both cargo and crew, is targeted for 2024, with primary objectives of building a propellant depot and preparing for future crew flights. The ships from these initial missions will also serve as the beginnings of the first Mars base, from which we can build a thriving city and eventually a self-sustaining civilization on Mars. Starship will enter the Mars atmosphere at 7.5 km per second and decelerate aerodynamically. The vehicle's heat shield is designed to withstand multiple entries, but given that the vehicle is coming into the Mars atmosphere so hot, we still expect to see some ablation of the heat shield, similar to wear and tear on a brake pad. With Starship and Super Heavy, most of what people consider to be long-distance trips would be completed in less than half an hour. In addition to vastly increased speed, one great benefit about traveling in space, outside of Earth's atmosphere, is the lack of friction as well as turbulence and weather. Consider how much time we currently spend traveling from one place to another. Now imagine most journeys taking less than 30 minutes, with access to anywhere in the world in an hour or less.